Good morning, Mitch Zumbai here with your Monday morning alert for Monday, July 2nd, 2018. Uh, we flipped the calendar over the weekend and uh, got an inch, inch and a half of rain in the area. Um, pretty hard to beat that. At least we didn't get the six, eight, ten inches that Central Iowa got or a big burst of wind or a D-Reco to flatten all the corn across the country. I did hear of a few cornfields that uh, caught the brunt of a little wind, but for the most part, uh, it was a pretty beautiful weekend. Um, you know, as we look into this week, we're looking into the 4th of July week. You know, I had corn tassel on a week ago today. That's the earliest I've ever seen. And you talk to the old timers, that's the earliest, about the earliest anybody's ever had it. So we pushed this crop along in a hurry. And as we think about it, uh, we're about 300 to 350 degree units ahead of schedule. I just saw in the news this morning, uh, we've got 12, 13 days of 90 degrees in us so far and our average is usually about four so you know we've really packed the heat in put the heat units on push this crop along in a hurry we're driving about we're driving by a lot of fields today that corn's got their hand up in the air hey i'm doing something out here come check me out i'm doing something real important something that's going to affect your pocketbook so you know this the the, ta the vt tasseling we're, we're starting with that we're gonna have a lot of corn tassel by the end of the week um my concern is we're pushing this crop along in a hurry. And uh, I know I've talked to you about fungicides before. A lot of time it's the fungicide component to, to take care of disease. Uh, but this year, um, I wanna talk to you about, you know, control and temperature. Uh, the strobe fungicides, you know, if you listen to what the fungicide manufacturers say, and you take them for what they're worth and um, believe them, you know, we're going to lower this uh, canopy temperature anywhere between 6 and 11 degrees. Uh, give us some respiration, get the plant cooler at night. You know, that's what the strobes tend to do for that plant health factor, is just slow this plant down. And, you know, there's a, there's a composition of taking care of the, the diseases and everything else. But that plant health factor of slowing the respiration down and keeping the plant cooler... Um, is going to be a big deal. You know, usually from VT to R3, where we're, where we're starting to develop the kernel, uh, we're looking at 22, 24 days. And if we keep these 90 degree, 88 to 92 degree temperatures, we're going to do that in 16, 17 days, 20% uh, less time. You know, a year ago, our all our yield, all of it didn't come from the... the uh, extended fill period but a lot of it did uh, you know we had good kernel counts we had good stands but we had an extended fill period that lasted all the way through august into september a lot of 78 to 82 degree days a lot of 60 to 65 degree nights um now we're dealing with 10 degrees more than that and uh, that's going to push that sucker along in a hurry how can we slow that the only way that uh, we can slow it is to try and use one of these strobe fungicides keep the canopy cooler you know we can keep that 6 to 11 degrees cooler is is what their research shows um, we can slow that down and maybe give us four or five more days um, that mother nature isn't going to allow us so maybe i could get somebody out here uh, that knows way more than i to talk about fungicides if, if somebody would like that uh, in the next week um, maybe maybe even next maybe even next monday but, you know, that's their plant health factor to slow this plant down, try and pack on some more yield. Because it looks like that's going to be important. As you look at the 10 to 14 day forecast, we've still got that heat in there. And uh, if that heat continues all the way through August, I just... We filled in August and September a year ago. And right now we're looking at filling in July and August. Well, we've got longer days, warmer nights, and, and that's, that's a major concern to me when we're looking at putting on ultimate yield i know corn's only three and a quarter or 310 but uh if we're we're looking at putting on bushels um that's where it's going to come from so i rambled on long enough um that's my piece for this morning so if you have any questions uh let me know and i'll get some get some fungicide data out to you for uh different hybrids thank you